You never saw mid really used in the previous iteration of Vertigo, and now that's all changed. Yeah, and they look like they want to go mid to B here. They're going to flood over a perfect smoke to lock out the CTs, and AZ's already opened up. AZ trying to focus his attention on Frozen. He does, however, miss his first shot, and now Frozen connects, does not blink. Rops was the one to find AZ in the end, and now MSL wondering where it all went wrong. He does retrieve the bomb, but at the loss of his life. Mouseboard's nearly a perfect boost. Wait for the reaction. CTs will normally let the bomb go down and retake together. And Carrigan oh. through the smoke. He didn't see that one coming. Now it's up to Frozen to defend. Yeah, I don't know what he can do. He, he, he's surely to death sentence if he tries to get on that box, but straight through the smoke. And so they're going to have to find these frags. Bomb's half gone as well. This is looking very promising for North, but Chris has already taken down the first and another. Added to the tally. wopsy has got two. The spray is good. They need to get someone else on that bomb. AZ could clutch this. He has to get them off, but Woxic defends. Yeah, that was a Chris J move, wasn't it? He jumped all the way down from B. Land on the Jenny. As we get into the next round here, Frozen tries to get aggressive off the scaffolding area there, but AZ is waiting for him. Whoa, the smoke spray oh. again. <laughs> Nearly catching Carrigan, down to 45. We'll be playing around those boost boxes, and MSL does find him. Chris with some aggressive warping, he's got away. Back into elevators, he will cower. Bomb yet to go down, the spray from Wok6 a little awry. And with two versus four, this is looking a tall order for Chris. AZ in front of him. Low HP gate as well, the sound cues, and that's going to be AZ leaping through the smoke there. Carrigan will take care of him. Takes a lot of damage, but still alive, five on three. Boxing seen by him very defensively towards construction. Cajun B trying to thread the needle. So what's the play? He can boost by these boxes. So no, the pistols out what they're going for. I think it is. Boost up. MSL spots him. Gets the kill. They might be back in this round now. They did this on the pistol with these same smokes. They yeah. try and go over the top here of the construction area to flip, split this B bomb site. And that bomb, they will get over the top. Carrigan was kind of baiting with his position there. And Chris and Rops will find the frags. No battle of grenades to kick things off. It is going to be a pounce. One smoke down, flash goes through, and here comes the full commitment. They're going for the early plant. He's got the Molotov to stop it, and it's good time. MSL will play above the boxes. Carrigan's already caught AZ as well. Frozen, if he swings, he's likely going to go down, but as MSL pulls the pin, he was temporarily exposed. Still on top of those boxes, and still hitting shots. Frozen, staring at the floorboard, does go down to 11. Carrigan brings a spot of aggression to get them the advantage. He's happy to go down one for one, oh, and there oh, it is. through the box. MSL will not be planting just yet, and Wok6 won the round. A quick double. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's more risk involved, but he's going for this one. Flash over Molotov as well, but this is a tall task here. 15 seconds. That's all the grades gone now, so we'll be saving those. In we go. Gets there's one. There's something. And they were all grouped up. A trio waiting for his peak. And we're going to be going for a faster approach once again. This time, actually, uh -oh. running up the A round, uh -oh. and you're in trouble, my friend. Oh, they've actually Ooh. recovered this one. The orb survives. Frozen will get two of the AK-47, and Voxic chimes in as well. Didn't even take any damage in that interaction. Four versus two, Cajun being Kiabi now. We're going to fight back here. Good oh. grenade, but does meet his makeup. Got to hit those. You got to. He's definitely banging on the wall so Cajun can hear that one because he's going to be frustrated. <laughs> they live next door to each other, as we learned in the pre-game interview. When neighbors Yeah, MSL, Cajun B. Good friends. And Carrigan. Now, that's, a, that's an old one right there as another <laughs> kill gets dropped here. You're, de you're just feeding him at this point. Yeah. Yeah, he was checking it out. Nice pre-aim from him. Finds his ninth frag. And North third. Look at this. They're going to do... Up! Oh! Okay, aware of that. Rops has got his head screwed on tight. He knew that was a plan. So I guess you must see some sort of shadow or pixel movements when they get up there because he was very assertive with those shots. Yeah, straight through into the head. Now the B assault there, the B smoke's landing. They're deep as well towards Jenny. He's quite a nice setup from North. And from behind, MSL can strike both. Before falling, Cajun B's actually cooked him and they've lost the round. Looking to get control of the forklift from an AZ. Smoked off. Flashed as well. First shot for Voxic. Nails it. This time he's actually going to be the first one in. Carrigan's trying to play safe, but instead it's AZ and Gabe. Both opening up the site. The spray from Frozen was close. Nearly a double. Voxic wants to contest, and he has a good shot onto the first. Bomb planted. He confirms he knows where one of the two are. His teammate from behind, Chris J. Oh, tagged and oh. fragged. Body bagging. It's MSL. 
And now from Elevator, Chris J is likely going to go down here. One more bullet will do. Kirby confirms it. And North, they'll take six. They will take six. So there's a left and right smoke. Smolotov to come through as well. Round to the back girder. Flashbang going over the top, and in they go. Five players committing. It's an open B site. You can't really contest it. The smokes, the Molotov, three use, three nades used, and a complete wall created. And the double boost up as well, so they're players ready to go off the back of those smokes. So here comes the retake now. They've got a smoke defuse kit and an incendiary, which they've deployed already. Chris J ready to fight this one, and here comes our first wow. kill. Beautiful shot from the Glock as pandemonium ensues here. We have got the full retake coming through, and the upper hand towards north right now. Oh, he needs to find another one though. Walks in. Oh. He has. Oh, one tap from the Glock. The smoke oh, will. No good. Oh, no good. Oh, it won't. No good. It didn't spread. <laughs> oh, you hate to see it for Gade. He's lost his chances now. He does hit the first shot. If only. If only he had a smoke. He got. His, oh, he has. He got a kick. He's got it. He's got it. I think Gade has just hit the most ridiculous clutch. He messes up the smoke, but still takes it. A default spread. They have to take some opportunities here. They have to take a couple of risks, and maybe one already being made as MSO will take down first. And things off. We had uh, SEO giving us the stat line to do with mouse balls and frags, and the percentage is so low for these boys. His second worst, I believe it was in 2020 on Vertigo. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, Gay's not ready for this one. Carrigan will exploit that fact, and they've got the B bomb site under their remit here. I don't know if he's going to be expecting a gap like that. Someone could get caught by this. Carrigan is in such a prime position. He knows they're going to be up on that boost. I think he might have just been spotted, though. Kirby was staring down the barrel. Woxix caught another. Keeps it level now. Three versus three, but he's keeping them busy. Carrigan just by surviving, and he's actually taken down AZ. MSL has been staring at him, but it doesn't matter. Three kills from Carrigan as he looks to retrieve that AWP. No, he doesn't. Not interested. If you don't check it, which happens every now and then, it can lead to a kill. You just drop after one, maybe a couple. But yeah, most come. teams will be pre-firing this. Oh, he's gone for the... Didn't take his time on that one, boys. <laughs> the quick snap does not work out for them, and that could cost them a round. Maybe not. Okay, it's working out very nicely. I take it all back. AZ oh. going crazy at the A ramp here. He's going to find the bomb. There it is. Where is it, right? Zoom, zoom in one more time. Enhance. There it is. <gasps> there we can see inside it. That's what yeah. I want to get to. Oh, it was a little scary. A little spooky. 11 to 10. Dangerous. Oh, that's a scary angle to try and approach. He's getting shot from elevator and two waiting for him on the other. Oh, he missed it. Missed the smoke, loses his life. The spray from Woxic is fantastic. He beheads Cage and B before he's traded. Gade, however, still on B, and that's Frozen's task. Oh. He passes it. My goodness, with just four HP to spare, he's found a frag, and Rops has found another. I like that from Rops, controlling middle from the boosted position. No one's expecting that, and it's now a three versus one, and the bomb, not even planted, is running towards A at this stage. I like this, and a great shot from Rops to close things out. Very nice stuff there from Mousesports. Are they going to be mollying towards the boost box, or actually on the other side of it? Ah, okay, so you can't fall back, but they want to fight, and Cajun does manage to get one with the CZ. Kirby doesn't pull the trigger. He swung in. Now Gade's found a crucial frag. Chris J spotted as well. Three versus three. North have got a good stead here, and Kyobi's extended their lead. It's just Chris J and Frozen. Bomb is nowhere near a sight. Yeah, he knows exactly where he is. Molotov will go through. Gade has to reposition. He gets oh, the kill. No, Chris. What a shot from Gade. He was tested, and he is dealt with. Nice shot from Frozen. Rather robotic, and as he hangs off, and hangs out. North will two, 11 for them. Standard smoke, left and right, but above on the box. AZ doesn't find anything. MSL's AWP does connect onto the first before the smoke's fully plumed, but now he's lost his vision. Rops has managed to equalize. Coming in from behind, he strikes. Chris deals with Kirby as well. That's the flank completely nullified. But Gabe brings the fight, brings the flare. Down to a 2v1. MSL thrown into a clutch scenario. Warp on his back. Guys, think about this. What's the plan? Oh, no. Exposed. 20 seconds. They have to commit. Woxic's half health. He's on the bomb. Or has the bomb, I should say. Has to plant. MSL's just holding the tight lines, and there's his second shot! Oh no! A narrow miss, and Woxic, he'll profit. And Lucy Goosey we are. Double pushing middle, and it works! They get a rifle out of that one. Admittedly, two members of North now operating with under 20 health, but it's a start, and a positive one for the Danes.
Well, Robson will offer up an AK-47. He does substantial damage before he is taken down, but now the boost will come through. AZ taken up. They go for the double booster at the back. I like it. And AZ, he manages to get the first. Has he got anything left in the tank here? He got three kills in their previous eco round. He might be on for the same results here. Second connects. Boxing goes down. And there you have the man advantage. This Gade is going for a big backstab wow. here. It might not even matter, as he's looking for a quad kill now. Yep, give AZ the rifle, and he will punish you for it. And oh, a missed shot. MSL's gonna have to fall back. And already he's lost his teammate. Won't make the same mistake, but already the flurry from Mouse Sports into the site has confirmed it. No silence M4, so the Gatling guns are being deployed, and the spray comes through, but it will be Boxic. We'll find that first kill. Can be in a lot of trouble now as Robs will dismantle the middle defense. And now five on three. The hard work is done. Get the brakes on, no one has to overcommit, stay together, execute, and try and bleed out the CT utility with the remaining time. Is Kirby going to push in on the flash from Gade? It looked like that was their intention, but instead Gade now... Ooh, bit of that was a good one. There. I don't know the lineup for that one, but... No, we'll work on it. Seemed a bit complex for me, to be honest. <laughs> MSL pulls him back. That's Carrigan. That's the DA ramp. Can't afford to lose players individually like that. So, in towards B we go. Trying to take advantage of the fact they still have a 4 and 3. Trying to use those numbers to their advantage, but Gade has been fantastic, as has Cajun. No Cajun this time, so it will have to be the former. Matt MSL does catch another. He's lining them up and equalizing time after time. Now the bomb plant comes in and through the smoke, Woxic finds another. He's closing in on 30 frags here with another double in this round. Oh no. But it's not a guarantee. Frozen knew he was there as well. He spotted him before. Tried to swing around with the pre-fire. Didn't work out. Are they going to go for this one? There's a flash available. I think MSL's going to deploy that. Senki Arby in. We need to find a couple of kills. The flashbang couldn't be better. Chris J catches a face full of it. And now Voxic. Two versus one. It looks like North had done enough. Can they post map point here? Smoke down towards the steps. And the first kill comes through. But a great trade there. It's KRB doing enough. He's got the diffuse kit. And North will find map point. And a nade on top of that. We'll soften him up quite nicely. On the fly smoke does enable them to start taking some space towards construction. But this next fight, this next fight is everything. Gage in the corner. Oh, Carrigan was checking it all. The frags are coming. They're all coming for North. They only need two more to take their map pick up against Mouse. Woxic and Frozen left to clutch. That bomb is on Frozen. Woxic has some mid control. Carrigan got some information, but that's all. There's three CTs around here. God, Woxic has got so much to worry about. This is not the space oh. to be. Does get the first, but MSL continues to rack him up. He goes down to Frozen. MSL hits the shot, though. Takes him down to 32 points of health, and there's 35 seconds remaining. Frozen will go for the plant. Fakes it out. Trying to bait anyone towards Jenny's at this stage. Two versus one. Oh. oh, no flash necessary, ladies and gentlemen. A single HE concludes map one, game one of day five. Jungle and steps are covered. Flashbangs over. It's a bit of a fake here from Carrigan trying to suggest that. Much more members are heading towards the A side than they actually are. So he falls back. It's been called that it's a fake at this stage. And MSL will start to rotate. Not sure where to position himself, but it's obviously. We do see Mouse Wards heading up towards short and entering the B bomb side as Carrigan opens things up. Yeah, that's lovely. That will keep the CTs a little more paranoid. And so Carrigan's keeping two people busy as Gabe is tested and deleted on B. One man remains. It's AZ. He's going for the trigger discipline play. This requires some stoic oh! hold. And that shot was ridiculous. A million miles an hour. Chris J was but a blur. And AZ still hits the shot. Will it have ramifications for the round, though? He did damage to Frozen, but that hasn't stopped him from planting the bomb. Rops is holding this window. If he could just find one frag, that 1v1, he can maneuver around. Rops is holding this window and oof, a chance squandered for Kirby. He'll get another chance and this is it. He sneaks out of the window. No kid available. Has to find his two kills in the next five seconds or so. Frozen didn't give his position up. Low HP. MSL holding a CT spawn. Flashbang will come over. He will take the shot, but Rops gets the better of him. Opening kill for Mouse Sports now. KGB pressure by the air. Oh, Cajun. He's always good for two, is Cajun. Kirby supporting him with flashbangs and bullets of his own. And that flashbang does keep Chris J safe. He tucks in. Cajun B repositioning now. 
A poor Molotov. It was destined for Dark. Wouldn't have found a target either way. Oh, here comes Gade. He's not a knifer by any means. He just wants to get them dead. It doesn't matter how. Get the job done. The old school way with the M4. Straight to the chest. And one kill remains. That's going to be Chris J. Because the incendiary will flush them out. They're in trouble. Oh, dear. they got a smoke. Oh, oh, the nade comes straight into their face. And it's easy. He will catch Carrigan as he tried to escape. Hook, line, and sinker. You've got a kill out of that. You burn out a smoke. The nade lands on three people. That's huge. What a set piece that was from North. They read that so well. Oh, he's been spotted. Yeah, it doesn't shot. matter. MSL doesn't miss those chats. Well, that's the thing. Carrigan actually said in the interview at the pregame that MSL's been playing to a good counter-strike, and that's not, you know, meant as a, as a mark on his name. He's just an in-game leader who usually is quite low in the fragging charts. But yeah. here, in the last couple of days, he's, he's found himself, it seems. He is going for it, actually. If either of them were to have a oh. little look, he did. Oh. <laughs> Rops is like, nope. <laughs> and three of them charging towards the window. Woxic just opens up the fragging with a quickie. I think Cajun might be changing his mind, looking a little trapped here. That incendiary was keeping him there. Yeah, he was hoping they would maybe commit towards middle there. He could be part of the biffs as they cross over towards those boxes in middle. But for now, they'll accept the five versus four and see if Cajun B can bring a kill back in their favor. Smokes off towards Palace for now. Looking towards that A ramp. He's got one player outside in the form of Robs, but no bomb there. He's just patrolling for flanks. And for good reason as well. Cajun B thinking about it. Tucks himself in towards that A ramp and just drops back now. We'll see Carrigan spotted towards the underpass. MSL very aware of his position. Waits patiently, and he hits the shot, doesn't get the frag. Good tag there. They need a multi-kill, though, North, as they enter these choke points. Mouse sports are looking dangerous, but over towards B with the bomb, so... Gade needs a couple of kills here. Crush is enough of a warning, but he's still got his vision. And that's what matters, because they jump over his head. Oh, the positioning from Gade was spectacular. And a great shot from Wox. It keeps this game and this round competitive. Is he ready for MSL in window, though? The smoke does arrive. He's not anticipating that. Holding the line pays off and Rops, after losing his teammate, does connect onto Cajun to keep this one versus three just a little more manageable. Well, they've done a great job so far. There's only 20 seconds remaining. Rops can't start walking around for a good 30 seconds or so. He's got to commit right now. They know exactly where he is. And he's up against a double orb short, so there is a chance he can pull this one back. The Molotov down towards the van is extinguished by that smoke. Now he has no time to plant. It will have to enough. be by the frags. I think you might be right here. And MSL, challenging again, will take him down. He had no idea where he was positioned. You wouldn't assume he was in the same spot. And there we have it. It might be more partial by territory for Mouse Sports. They're 6-3 down. They won the pistol, got the 3-0 conversion. Since then, MSL has been absolutely killing it with the orb. Yeah, he uh, hasn't been too shabby at all. Pretty serviceable old MSL. We know that uh, in terms of using it as a utility to lock down key choke points of the map, that he's proficient at that. But a shot like Woxic just hit there, that's uh, that's not an MSL that's shot. That's a different ballpark. If we see MSL start hitting those, it's a different guy in the server. We might have to uh, call on in and see if he's behind his PC because I haven't seen him hit an AWP shot like that one. He is. So. Let's, uh, let's see if it's because... <laughs> well, he wasn't even an AWP, I remember. I <laughs> this is how insane it is. Oh, towards the... A side we go. It's a very fast flash attack now, but one that might not work out. The first couple of kills landing in favor of North. Damage inflicted by Cajun B, but only damage oh. here. And now this round might be given up. Frozen, Chris J finding three Deagle kills. They've actually got the man advantage here. There is a chance to deny the plan, but oh. it will be going down. They've got an open Chris J. Nails a shot towards AZ. This is going to be the though. first round since the pistol. Yeah, but hold on. I don't think Chris J is anticipating this. Flank and Gade's right there. He should have this. And a second as well. Oh no, Mouseports have done so much heavy lifting and now Frozen just has to find the last frag. Realizes survival is integral here. The bomb is planted for him, but there is a smoke on gate. He could defuse behind the box a little here. If he gets the angle right, Flash is perfect. Frozen's reloading. Two seconds. He better find him. He does. Straight through the smoke to secure the fourth. Four kills. Round four. And Mouseports do it with just Deagles. Big round there. Frozen holds his nerve. That was very... Well attempted by Gade, I have to say. The fact he gets to smoke on top of the bomb. Double flashes as he's getting the defuse in. Probably deserves the winner, but very calm from Frozen. Didn't panic there at all. Took his time. Allowed himself to reset. Get his vision. Take the bomb down. So that was a, a partial by victory. Just to be know. reloading and to be flashed yeah. where, and someone's diffusing in the smoke. Frozen had a lot of negative stimuli there. Absolutely. And he and was cool as a cucumber. He, he really was. He handled that very well. MSL needed to nail that shot. And we'll see them cross over towards middle. And he is... But I have to fall back. That was his opening chance and one that 
wasn't connecting for him, but the grenade certainly did. Frozen. He gets taken to 47 yards towards Delpan. That boosting up as well. He flicks to this. He always nails this sort of shot. <laughs> okay, he's got no helmet, right? So you can see the aim punch coming through. No Terrifying. chance to cover that. Yeah, and they're going to burn him as well. Nothing he can do. Nades, Molotovs, and bullets all used to flush him out of that corner. Oh, God, I don't like it. Oh, single flash. Then they push through. AZ gets just one. They know where he is. They want to try and close this gap. They really need this frag, and they found it. There's only one man now on the site. Will they check it? He's going to stay passive. This is really smart. You've killed 2B. You'd pretty much assume that this is clear now. And with their backs turned, he plans to strike. Sees the boost. One. Rox is burning. Two. Oh. Kirby's done enough. He's done all. Oh, oh. Kirby. Oh. Lying in wait on B and collects a triple for the seventh for his Danish squad. Within EPL. Very, very quick over towards Connector. But it's Cajun who's the man. Uh-oh. Oh, he's going to get around the corner as well. Okay, so Kierby's coming from Kitchen. There's a timer on this. There is a timer on this. And he hears Kierby. He gets both. Carrigan's opened up the B site from behind. And now Gade. Oh, he's the Gade keeper at this point in time. He actually wants to flash through this. Oh, both no! oh good grief. He dinked him. Big kill available. Dropping down his cross. Jay and a great shot from Marcel. Oh, oh that's it. <gasps> no, it's done. It's Bye. Over. Round yeah. over. Oh, oh, no, it's not. Chris what? Jay, 3 HP. It's a 1v1 and he knows where he's coming from. He'll gobble the flash oh. and he pulls the trigger. Wide screen, it doesn't matter. He finds the fifth. Yeah. Like the fact that he has a Anonymous. second shot on AZ yeah. is huge. That Old was school. such a massive shot on AZ, but here he is again, MSL. He's back in the thick of it with two Woo. quick kills. I can't think of, I've never seen him all being like this. this is a man possessed? Crazy. We are going to have an opening. Oh. Hat trick here from North. Three kills found, and Rox and Boxy have to pick up the pieces once again, but I don't think it can be done. Rox not getting the quick kill. Uh -oh. I suggest the round might be over. He goes down to 41 HP, but still a fighting chance, I suppose. Boxy with the orb will be left alone now. Smoke down towards the A ramp, trying to get that AK 47. AZ will get it successfully. Okay, we'll get the full banana line. All right. Well. Boxer will get a face full of let, unfortunately, for him. He's actually he doesn't hit these flick shots. Surely. Yeah, he does. He Henry. has to slow it down a little bit. It's not as flashy, but he nails the shot. That's all that matters. And Cajun does not. Rops, however, he will stop that Orpa from doing any more damage. Oh. And full flashed. Cajun does it all. Flashes him and frags him. Chris J goes down, and now numbers, they favor North. <clears throat> Good flashbang coming through. Boxing needs a couple of kills here. Not going to happen. They're now in a four versus two. But the bomb coming up to the halfway point. We've got Robs and Carrigan next to each other in the open, apparently. So Carrigan being very active here. Doesn't work out for a kill, apparently not. Kiabi strikes in the palace position. We've got Robs holding towards Shadow. I don't think it's enough, boys. And that's going to be it. The first half concludes. North. One half and a double digit lead. It's looking promising. The bomb's over towards B, so this is all a ruse now. These smokes towards A, this is actually the same approach Mouseport had, to be honest with you. Three committing, though. They really want to sell this. Oh, oh the grenades! Oh, oh, and it works! A stack nade towards CT! Oh, That's a pie! Beautiful. Oh, and AZ's killed over the B player. There's only one guy cowering on the site. It's Carrigan. No armor oh, either. He can do this. He has a kit as well. Gets the first. Completely unannounced, but now the duel gets more interesting. He has the bomb, and he knows there's another around. He's sniffing for him. Kirby. Three, oh, boxing. Three. Boxing's heard the steps. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He heard another as well, and it gets Cajun B on the tail end. And so a three versus two, and Kirby's still alive on this site. They're looking for him. It's been a 30-second stalemate, but he's lost all of his comrades. He's got three to find and a fresh clip now. I might get a little more excited. <laughs> oh, that shaky aim. You can see it really coming through now. Kirby known for uh, his quite erratic movements with the crosshair. Two versus one, and given an opportunity to find that first kill. Doesn't land from just yet. Frozen, still healthy on 75 points of health. Bomb oh. still down, but plenty of time to just toy with these two. See if they'll make a mistake. They got a bullets now, hoping he can make this a one versus one quickly. Gets closer, but the CTs watch the bomb. He knows the bomb has to be retrieved, and as this much time has passed, they have to commit to B. Two bullets is all it requires. And that's Frozen who finds the shot. A couple of flashes going to be thrown over. And in they go. Carrigan, though, a very nice incendiary. Oh. And Frozen's very uncomfortable. What's happened here? There's the running gun of the Tech Nines. There's the boxing now. He needs at least one more kill here. Will they be able to swarm him and take him down? Apparently not. And he might survive here. Not for long, though. AZ takes him out. And advantage north. As another smoke is delivered. And Chris J only with a scout now. Where's that Famas gone? There was surely a better weapon for Chris to in towards toilets, but now Rops has used that MP9. Nice work, long range. But this bomb plant, it's getting scary. Nice work, shutting down Cajun. MSL to clutch, and he's so low. One bullet from the P250 is all MSL needs. 
has to deep breath, fills his lungs with air as he knows he's just oh. got to remain calm, and he does. No fakes required here. Just go in with the smoke to eradicate those risks and free fire the positions and uncovered. Yeah, and trying to take the fight is frozen. He's molotov out. He has to stand his ground. He hasn't got anywhere to hide, and it doesn't matter. But he hits bangers like that. Unfortunately, a single deagle headshot will not suffice. We need more from that. He's gonna be burned. His toes oh, no. Are, oh no! Carrigan has managed to stop the plant. Now tell a lie. The digits were finished before AZ fell. Had he been more precise, it may not have been the case, but now this number advantage for Mouse is working out the jiggles from Carrigan. He's oh. won the duel. Just a USP. Kirby's gonna be a bit red-faced after that one. It's still a lot of work to do here. They've got no kids, of course. Carrigan only with the USP right now, and his teammate's very low on HP. 24 health to be exact. And Boxy swings oh. around. It's not quite enough. The MP9 can't do it. The jumping shot, Carrigan. Has he got enough time here? I think he does. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be very Surely close. Surely he'd be running away if he didn't have it. Yeah, uh, he's got it. He's easy. got it. Wow. Okay, so Mouse Sports. It was actually all Carrigan. Oh, we saw them. Carrigan. You can hear the steps. He's pre firing madly, and it's working. Two bullets into the app. This force buy is going a very different direction. Mouse Sports, they're looking for the clean sweep. Five hearts still beating for Mouse, and they will finish that way too. Yeah, yeah. What, I, what I really loved was the fact that they're pushing that bench part of the map into the site and still have the poise to double peek from Palace yeah. and site at the same time. That's good stuff there, but we need more of it because Woxic immediately striking back with the big green. So plenty of mid presence. Yeah, looks to be the beast player here. They got that connector smoke down on towards window as well. Foxic will tag out with Frozen. Brings you over this side of the map. Lovely shot from MSL. Brings it back to the four and four. Still time here as well, but Voxic, he's so quick, so precise. This is a shot. Drops a flashback. His teammates are able to back him up. That's going to be through the smoke. Frozen finds a bomb and a missed shot from Voxic. It could cost him the round here. Quick plan from Gay towards Shaw. Yeah, and the Molly's perfect. Chris cannot contest. There's a smoke in the window as well. They got another Molotov. Two of them now. They can keep Molotoving towards the kitchen, but MSL has been dropped. Advantage Mouse Sports, but bomb down. Flash is available. Gade watches towards kitchen. This is going to be tense. So much util on CT side as well. Flash and a push. He turned away. Cajun's caught a bullet. A perfect retake. That's the smoke towards steps. Cajun B to smoke jungle. Chris J to be flashed. And then do they fully commit off this? Chris J. You can see the thought process by dropping that incendiary, but it's a double pump. North haven't left A yet. Two from Palace. The flash is how they exit. Lovely work. Both of them full blind. And they'll throw a smoke on top of that as well. They really want to corral them back into jungle. It may not work though. Woxic, he's gone for the off angle. He plans to swing and catch a player off guard. Here it is. He's gray screened. And now Kiyomi spots him. Does find him with the wild spray. A flash from Cajun buys him time. Frozen's low as well. Rops is flanking. He oh. is. And it could very well be the no! flag. Oh, Rops. That could cost them. And it will. Chris Jay's the last one standing. And all five members of North survive. Let's watch this. Yeah, there you go. An hour. It's flubber, it's science. Science, <laughs> like, you learn a lot of chemistry. <laughs> but uh, let's uh, move away from that, because at this point, as we highlighted, with 30 seconds left, the reason a minute has just rot off the clock is because of what's at stake in this round. No one wants to be the first to die, but someone has to, and it's MSL. The puppet master can still pull the strings from the back seat, though. And he's been sent there now. So, a 4v4 as they take A. What's it going to be tested? Oh. And I love that from Gade, over the box. Even if Woxic was ready, he could have got caught out and Gade's got another. Oh dear. Mouse Sports, they're running out of chances. They're running out of players. He's going to be flashed off and he's going to go behind him, I think. So he will fall back for now, nails the shot, and he will survive the AWP by the looks of things. They should chase this. They should try and get it out of his hands. Oh, Don't Calvin. worry about shit. I think he gets his kill. He'll flick and get it. Oh, not quite. Garrigan ready and waiting. And we will see the two weapons survive. I'm calling it now. Mouse Sports win this round. I don't know how. But I'm looking forward to finding out why my instinct tells me Mouse have got a little more in the tank. Frozen, he stands his ground with the M4A1. He's got so many angles to worry about. Overwhelmed. Kirby will get out of Palace. And they have got access to the A site. Carrigan's MP9 goes awry. And he hopes so. Smoke towards Palace. That's Chris not too much of an issue. Chris is the one with the kip. So Wox has gone down. Chris is Orp has connected, but MSL does too. He gets the trade. They get the map. A 2 0 series. North have knocked Mouseports down a peg in the same way Movie Star Riders did.